Beatles. Tom, you have memories of the scene? I remember there was a little bit of a discussion um, with James just sort of wanting to understand how much sound was going to be in the final product so he could speak louder. Or, you know what I mean? Like, he was smart to ask that because some people, if you when you do a scene in a nightclub and people are just started talking to each other, like, well, guys, there's going to be music back here. You got to, like, project. So he knew to ask That's that. That's important. That's important. And, and he just, you know, again, I can't, I can't say enough about him. He just makes it all yeah. seem really interesting because 100%. he's interested. Yeah, he, yeah. He, he was really good. Practically what happens behind the scenes when like Phantom Zone portals open up, what's actually happening on set there for you? Uh, it's a good question. Uh, we, you, we usually put a piece of tape of some sort <laughs> on a stand that everybody has the same reference point for their, for their visual. And then there'll be smoke machines and, um, and fans kind of blowing. And you just really try to, I, what I do is I try to visualize some version of what I think I'm seeing. And I'll ask, like, is it going to be swirling? Is it going to be moving? Is it a black hole? Like, what is it? And you just kind of get a sense. But to really find that spot that everybody can look at is, is the big thing. I mean, James in this one really had to look at that portal and open himself to it in a sense. 